Hi guys, Andy here again. Welcome to video two of my beginner's guitar strumming course. In this lesson, we're going to be covering how to strum eighth strumming with all downs and with downs and ups and why you should go for one strumming pattern or the other. Um, you definitely want to have checked out video one or be comfortable with four for all down strumming where we're basically strumming a bar of E and then a bar of A chord and repeating that and doing it along to the drum loop that I've already made. If you've never played along to the record at all, you probably should check out that one first where I just cover a few of the basics and terminology and whatnot. But in this video, we're going to be talking about the off beats. These are the ands, the count, and it's written as a plus in between um, the main beats, the count. So we have, for example, one and two and three and four and. Now we can play eighth strumming in two different ways and these this is with uh, all down strumming so if I just choose an A chord one and two and three and four and everything on a down on a down strum or we can do them with downs and ups the down strokes have to be on the beat but we can do the off beats the ands with ups one and two and three and four and now, first of all, I just want to cover why you would go for one or the other, because each of them leads to different strumming patterns we might want to do a little later on. And the reason we would go for all downs is because the tempo, the, the speed of the song, is slower. So we're talking somewhere between 70 and 100 BPM as a starting point. Um, so this means, just as a point of reference, um, 60 BPM, is a ticking clock. So BPM is beats per minute. And it's how we measure the speed of, of a song. So one, two, three, about every second is 60 BPM. A mid-tempo song is around double that. It's about 120. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And if you want more help or just a bit of understanding about a metronome, um, Google metronome and the top one that comes up is a free app which I use all the time with my students there's no point in buying like a metronome for 20 pound or something if you can get one free online or have a free app so really recommend that one just to hear these different speeds but in these videos we're gonna have you playing along to me and then playing along to a drum kit ASAP so we're gonna choose an A chord and we're first of all going to go for all down strumming. Now both of these strumming patterns should sound like you're playing on the beat strumming, but you're playing twice as many, twice as fast as what you were doing before. So if I'm going one, two, three, four, eighth strumming, I'm afraid my hand has to go twice as fast. So one and two and three and four and. And that's the idea of it. Because the tempo is slower, the song is slower, we're moving our hand kind of faster to give it a bit of a, to give it a bit of welly, give it, give it a bit more, a bit more aggression to it, even if it's a ballad. My song example for this would be Chasing Cars or Yellow from my beginner's course. So, if I lay here, if I just lay here, and that's where your count is one and two and three and four and. And as I say, your tempo wants to be around 74 to um, around about 100. And as I say, we have some free drum loops available. Um, you want to click the link if you want to listen to any of these on their own. But I'm just going to demonstrate now how I would like you to use them before you kind of jet off and do those. So let's have a listen to the first one. This is for your all downs. And we have a two bar counting, and then it shows you how to use it. So we have one, two, one and two and three, all downs and an A chord. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And then every two bars we have a symbol again, three and four and. But if we listen to the drums a second, We have this sound now called, as well as the kick and snare, which if you're not aware of the kick and snare, the terms and all that, you really want to check out that first video in this playlist. 
but we have another sound now and it's called the hi-hat. One and two and three. And it tends to be whatever the hi-hat's doing, that's what we play along to as rhythm guitarists. So our down strums, fairly slow tempo again, but your hand is moving fast. And if we mute our strings, you can have a practice of staying in time with that. Two and three and four and one and two and three. And then as soon as you're ready, we can go for eight strumming all downs on an A chord. One and two and three and four and, and you gotta stay in time with that. And we use the kick and the snare. One and two, three, four, as a checkpoint. And again, using the, um, the symbol, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one to check whether we're still in time. If we go a little bit too fast, so we start off right, one and two and three, but then I go ahead because I'm not really listening to the beat. I'm just playing over it and this isn't in time at all because it's nothing's lined up to those sounds, to the, to the hits that you can hear. One, two, three, four. So you really need to practice. I mean, if you're struggling, you can always go back to one of the beats or you can do a bar of each. So a great exercise is to do a bar of on the beat strumming. Three, four, A. Oh, our drum kit's just stopped. Let me start it again. Two, so a bar of on the beat strumming. Two, three, four. One, two, three, then eight. One and two and three and four and back to the beat. Two, three. Four, one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and. Or do two bars of each, etc. But you, the important thing is your eight strums, every strum has to line up to those hi hats, the t -t 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 -t. and we use the other percussive beats that we can hear as a checkpoint for your eight all down strumming. Now we're going to cover eighth strumming, but with downs and ups. So as a rule, your down strokes have to be on the beat, but we can do up strokes on the ands, on the off beat. And this is appropriate when the tempo is a medium or a fast song. So a medium tempo, as I say, around about 100 to 120, which can be a bit of a crossover tempo between the, the, the two strumming actions that we're covering in this video. But certainly if your song's over 120, we want to be doing downs and ups because it's more economical. If we're doing down, 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 there's only so fast we can do that. Whereas if we do downs and ups, we can do it an awful lot faster. So take an example from my beginners course, Johnny Be Good. If we're doing that with all downs, we're going to really struggle with it. But if we do it with downs and ups, one and two and three and four and, we will be able to do it. Or say a brown eyed girl. Another one from the beginner's course. It's gonna struggle to do, definitely gonna struggle with that if we're doing it all with downs. You know, it's possible, but you know, try doing that for an hour and a half gig and your arm's gonna fall off. So we wanna do downs and ups because it's more economical and it makes it easier for ourselves. If you wanna check out any of those songs, do check out andyguitar.co.uk. But also the um, link in the top corner takes you to my website where there's a list of songs that are appropriate for each of these strumming patterns. And I'm going to show you a cool way to organize um, which songs you do and which strumming patterns in the next video in this, in this series. Um, so downs and ups, we want to be doing along to 100 to 150 kind of BPM. And again, I have a drum beat set up which this example is at 104, so fairly slow. But you want to be checking again that we're doing things at exactly the same time and listening to the hi-hats. It will be possible to do play along to this uh, drum kit with all down strumming. I'm not saying that it won't, but you want to exercise the skill of being able to do both. And as I say, each lead to a gateway to being able to do 
different strumming patterns, different higher level strumming patterns, and we, we treat them very differently when we try and get you, uh, get you improved with your strumming. So, yeah, and the difference between these two and why you would go for them is really important. So let me give you an example of your eighths down and up strumming along to the drum loop. One, two, three, four. I'm picking a, uh, a G chord here. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. If I'm nodding at my head to the beat, my hand is following my head. And if I'm tapping my foot to the beat, my foot is going in the same direction as my hand, okay? If they're going upside down, you're doing it the wrong way around and that's definitely not good. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. I'm picking a G chord. Let's go for a D in one, two, go to a D, three, four, D. Back to a G, two, three, four, G. If you're playing along to the drum kit, you can go for any chords. I'm just giving you an example. Back to a D. And also showing you what it kind of should sound like. So my downstrokes are lining up to those pulses. And if I'm a little bit too fast, it just straight away sounds bad. It, that's playing over a song, we don't want that. And it's kind of hard to, you can find your way back in. But a lot of the times, oftentimes it's just best to, to stop and kind of start again. So that's an explanation of eights all down strumming, which is best for slower songs, ballads and whatnot. And downs and up strumming, which is best for medium to faster tempo songs because it's more economical. Um, and it's in the later videos in this series that we'll be revisiting these strumming patterns and looking at some variations on them. But it's really important that first of all, we can make sure that you can hit every one. We want them all to sound exactly the same because one of the uh, later variations is missing out strums. So maybe down, 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 up, down. Or down, up, down, up, down. Or down, down, up, up, down. Really common one. There's a lot of permutations and I, to a certain extent we don't want you accidentally going for one or the other. We want it to be purposeful. But also the reason to do, make sure you're aware that there are these two separate strands, fast songs and slow songs, tempo wise is so that we know that we can actually change strumming pattern mid-song. We could miss some strums out in a verse. And then for a chorus, we're going to hit every one maybe to make it sound louder so that songs don't kind of sound the same and flat all the way through. I'm sure you can think of song examples that do that, especially acoustic versions. But it's really rare that we're going to do, say, all downs in one song and then go down and up later in the song because we'd probably be speeding up if we did that. So that's, that's really a real no-no in most songs. Um, but that's a brief demonstration and giving you some exercises um, that you can do to exercise your eight strumming. All downs and downs and ups. Play that along to the drum kit um, that I've provided for you in the next video or in the link just up there. And then um, check out any of the songs that use this strumming. So all downs. In my beginner's course we have Silence is Easy, we have Yellow by Coldplay, and we have Hotel California, which are all spread throughout the levels. Check out any of those songs if you like the all downs and you want to work on those. For down and up strumming, we can check out um, Songbird by Oasis is probably the first one that I recommend for you guys. We have Brown Eyed Girl and I'm a Believer and many, many others. Basically every song pretty much in my beginners course is based on one of those two patterns. But um, we want to make sure that you can do it separate to the songs first of all so that you can play along to the record for any of those songs. 
That's it for this video. Let's check out the next one where we're going to be looking at offbeat reggae style strumming where we're just isolating these offbeats. Really recommend that you check it out because some people really struggle with this and it can hold them back a bit later on. Even if you're not into reggae strumming, let's get a, get a bit of Bob Marley in your life for this next video. We'll see you there.